there everyone, Luna here. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes and the Hounds of the Baskervilles. The last time we found strength, and they wanted to use it on Louisa's door. So I suppose it's her coat of arms we're gonna be completing this time. But before we do that, I'm gonna do this. And break this painting part. And break this gear. Oh! Location completed! Okay. Is there anything in here that I could use it on? Probably not. But I need to find something to paint, get that uh, on paper. Not sure what, though. Uh, is there anything in here I could break? Oh. we go. That completed that. Let's look at the map. There are apparently no tasks to complete. Oh, can I move? I can. That's neat. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. So I want to know if there's anything in here I can use the strength on. To see if I can find anything else. But it doesn't look like it. No. Alright. And let's go ahead and use it here. Uh. Okay. Thank you. I suppose. Indeed, it seems that the powers of this locket give us interesting perspectives. Powers? Dear friend, let's not sink into superstition. No, God forbid. What are you doing? Oh. Okay. This is Louisa's room. She was a great actress. The poor woman did not live long enough to have the career she deserved. Do you know how she tried to escape the beast? According to my uncle, she tried to escape reality by creating a world of her imagination. She hid there, thinking she could escape her fate. But the curse took her anyway. And what of this refuge she created? My uncle found Louisa's writing speaking of a world behind the mirror. She called it her shelter, but Charles never found out what it was exactly. Well, there was at least a hound in the mirror. Uh, you... The locked with a key. Of course it has. Painting part. Missing two eyes. Little box. Oh! Oh. Oh. Hmm. 
You're in place. You're in place. You're in place. You're in place. And you're in place. Here we go. Did I get anything? Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. The key. The fang. Is that it? Okay. Yes, something moving inside the statue when I shake it. Can I break it? I could. Hmm. Mannequin. Marks on the hair of the... Something on his head. Like a hat? Thank you. I think I'm getting good at... better at this. And there's suddenly tasks to be done in here. Oh, it's because I got one fang. Need to put it on the tiger. Mm. That's just a mirror all over it. Yes. Put one eye in. I suppose. And I can go back and put one bang back. Here we go. Uh, okay, fine. Let's check the mirror. Oh no. Hold on. Um, it's another one of these. A corset. Uh, umbrella. And you are scratch marks, doll. Button. Feather. A button? Like a loose button? There's another umbrella. Maple leaf, your box. Oh. Perfume. You are there. Glove. Ah, uh, let's see. Herring. Ah. Uh. Oh. Staring me right in the face. Uh, fan. And a pillow. Oh, there you are. And I found a glove. Uh, okay. Best mom. Okay. Why not? You're missing a glove, honey. Thank you. No, not yet. Yes, I see you there. Fine. Five items are missing. According to your uncle, Lisa was expecting that this may have a escaped curse that didn't work. Something is missing. Five items are missing. What's missing?
Transistors were clearly accurate. They were not placed here by chance. Put two mirrors face to face. So I need another mirror? Is that it? There we go. Yes. Ah, the eyes are in place. Probably. Here we are again in the past. My god, what a savagery. A brutal crime, Henry. A brutal crime. Sadly, it reminds me of our investigation of the crimes of the Ripper of Whitechapel. Awful. Okay. We are. Uh, here we go. No, that's not it. There you are. A teacup. Why have you hidden the teacup? Come on. Oh, never mind. Shoo. Powderpuff, not you. I'm still not. Oh, I'm blind. Feather, you're on it. You're on it. So are you. And you. And you. And you and f and you and you black candle so I've got need to find four candles rule is to control this marionette are missing okay Another gear. Still don't know what those are for. Painting part. Second floor key. Finding a lots of stuff that go by going to the past. Game store lock part. Okay. Clock. Oh, so I'm still missing one gear. Hmm. Is there anything else to see here at? the moment doesn't look like it so let's go back oh so you've hidden candles in here Do I get a candle for this? I certainly hope so. Uh, there's one. Mm, that's not what I was looking for. You're a candle. You're not a candle. You are. This is really, really interesting. I could get you to get 
into games like this, actually. Because you get to use your head. And I used to be very good at puzzles when I was a kid. There. One left. There. Found another candle. Um. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh. Okay. There we go. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Right. So, there's nothing there, nothing there, but there are stuff here. Is that it? Yes. Here, can put you and here. Where do we place you? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. If we can manage this this time. The bell, a cage, a candle, wine skin, gloves, hand handprint, horse heads. There we go. With rope. No, I saw that. Where did I see that? There. Hunting trap. Hook scale. And a gear. Is there a gear around? Where are you? Come on. The worst part about these kinds of games is that you end up staring yourself blind looking for something specific. Oh, there. And in the end you don't see it. Found another gear. There you go. Um. Oh. Okay. doesn't work. That does. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Great. Got a handle. Whatever I need that for. Nope. That's not it. Uh. Huh. Okay. What do I need a handle for? 
Do I need it here? No. I only have objectives here. So I should need it for something in here. Logically. But I... Oh! All parts of the coat of arms have been collected. Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. You're looking Another much better. Jewel for the medallion. It also has an engraving. Perception and intuition. Could it be that it will allow us to see details that we missed? Let's be attentive to our environment. Okay. Perception. Ah, uh, considerably increases visual accuracy and perceive the smallest details. Okay. Dark corner. Well, here we go. All right, I'm gonna end this here. Uh, and come back to this. Uh, come back for because it's probably time next time for this guy's coat of arms. James Baskerville is a doctor of medicine, a veterinarian, and a surgeon. Okay. Nice guy. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to end this here. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.